Hello and welcome to this wonderful Wednesday edition of Beer Bros. We're very happy to have you back again for our second Berry Beer of the Week. So for our second Beer of the Week we have... Okay, this is a little bit special here. Brainless Raspberries, a Belgian-style ale from Epic Brewing in Utah, Salt Lake City. I should hope that they're brainless. I mean, Salt Lake City, is it? I don't, you're not, you're not getting as any viewers in Salt Lake City by saying that. We probably don't have many viewers from Salt Lake City to begin with. I don't know. It says I'm holding something very special, one of only a few thousand bottles released. So, intrigued? Visit epicbrewing.com. Uh, to explore limited brews precise details and it has a batch number on it so let's uh we'll follow our beer and see where it came from how it originated and post it in links okay okay and as a belgian beer this is going to have that european yeast flavor yeah a little bit sour let's see what we got here oh it's kind of orangish well I mean, raspberries are red, so beer is yellow. That would kind of make orange, I think, doesn't it? I wouldn't say orange as much as an Pink? off-colored, yeah. Pinkish, maybe getting a little bit towards the yellow, orangish. This is uh, release number 33, if you're wondering. Alcohol by, alcohol ABV, how about that, is 9.9%. 9.9%. ABV on this is 9.9%. What's the ABV on this? Hey, the ABV on this is 9.9%. Just if anybody's wondering. So an exponential series by Epic Brewing. Okay. So this is pretty special, a pretty high dollar, you know, beer for us. So okay. we'll, we'll try it. Let's give it a smell. That does smell like uh, raspberry. Mm -hmm. And again, the tartness, the mm -hmm. anticipation of tartness comes through more than anything that I yeah. that I can smell. Yeah. So, but you're right on, you're dead on as far as the makeup of it, Belgian, a little bit of a sour farmhouse style going in there to begin with. So okay. let's give this a drink. Clinky drinky. Oh, that's very interesting. Wow, that is good, dude. I don't get any boozyness from the alcohol, but no. there is that very fruity, very present raspberry accompanying the, as expected, the Belgian taste of the right. actual ale. And I was expecting it to be a little bit more sour. But it's actually very sweet at yeah. the onset. Almost, yeah. uh, almost like a, a malted beverage. Yeah, uh, whereas on Monday we had the strawberry that came in at the end. This mm -hmm. starts off with that raspberry and Yeah, and you don't even have to take a, a first inkling of the sip. When it hits your when it hits your palate, you can automatically tell that it's gonna be a little bit sweet. Now the the limit mm -hmm. and the the I don't know what's the word I'm looking for. Time out. What is the word I'm looking for? Does it start with an A? No. Does it start with a B? Maybe. C. B E F G H J K. I don't know if you see it. Yes. The way that the taste resonates throughout your palate. What? I didn't come up with that. I really I'm just. I'm glad I'm I can doing, help you get to it. I'm doing the best that I can. So, we know, we know. Yeah, bless my heart. I know. Um, but the way that the taste resonates on your palate, it starts subtly. You know, you know that it's going to be sugary and sweet. Okay. But you don't know to the extent of which it, which it will be. Man, this is an awesome beer. Way to go, Epic Brewery. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm eager to find out where our batch and where it kind of fits in with the others. Okay. So sounds good. But nice. So until next time. No, it's not. It's too early for that. We gotta do. Um, so that concludes this episode of Beer Bros. Join us on Friday for yet another berry style beer. Until then, Beer Bros out. Do we hold this up? God, I hope so. Just in case. Okay. 
Better safe than sorry these days, you know. Assuming that I remember that it's on the next. <laughs> yeah, which I don't always do. Do it one more time. I'll remind you. <laughs>